Hi, Shani Fannies. Welcome to it. Hi, Shani Fannies. Welcome to Educating Shani. I'm Shani, and I'm recovering from eating disorder. Hi, Shani. Hi. I am sitting on the toilet. In case you missed my live stream that I did last night or today or whatever day it is for you, my like six hour live stream, I'm just kidding. I think it was like three or four hours. Um, I have been constant. I have not pooped in 13 days. I went to the emergency room two days ago and they gave me the drink that they give patients before you're going to get a colonoscopy. It, it's like to cleanse your colon before you get a colonoscopy. So they gave me that drink, even though I'm not getting a colonoscopy, they just gave it in hopes of making me poop because nothing else would work. And I'm extremely impacted, uh, they found on the x-ray. And so I did a live stream because it is the absolute most worst vile drink you will ever taste in your whole life. And I had to drink this much of it. And you drink like eight ounces at a time every 10 minutes and it's awful so i thought if i did a live stream while i'm drinking it um and then just hung up the live stream when it's time to poop then that would distract me which it did and you guys are awesome and thank you thank you thank you thank you so many of you gave up your evening for me and spent hours with me just distracting me and, and cheering me up and stuff so i ended the live stream abruptly because i felt that it was coming and then i tried going and nothing happened. So, that's it. I just finished the drink. I just took the last two drinks. Still nothing is coming out. Um, but I told everybody that I would do this video tonight to tell you the outcome of my poopages. So I'm gonna keep waiting and trying and I'll check in again in a minute. But as for right now, nothing is happening, so. This is the best night of my life, and that was the best live stream on YouTube, so you should go watch it if you didn't already. So. Well, it is now six o'clock in the morning. I started my pooping session at, I want to say like 8.39, so I have been trying to poop for 10 hours. And I did it! And I did it! I'm so excited, you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so after the false alarm, um, I decided that I would try an enema. So I put an enema in, it's gonna get graphic. Put the enema in, I waited, I felt the urge to go right away and I went and the same thing happened that's been happening for almost two weeks now, which is where I feel the urge so strongly to go, um, but I can't because it feels like there's a blockage in there. So this time I got really brave and actually I've tried it this before, but I tried it again. So I, took every ounce of strength that I had left, which was not much because it was, it was absolute hell drinking all that stuff. Um, but I took every last ounce of strength that I had and I am exhausted by the way, if you can't tell. <laughs> and I just pushed as hard as I could and I got the rock, the rock out. And I'm pissed a little bit at the doctor because I, at, right after I got that out, that one little rock that seemed to be blocking everything, once I got that out, everything else started flowing smoothly. And I'm livid, like I'm mad that he treated me like I was stupid and I knew that there was a blockage in there. I knew it. And now, now what? I was right. <laughs> Why do I care? Who cares? It's over. So I did poo and I'm very happy about it. I'm still going. I've been going every half an hour for a few hours now. I'm exhausted. Um, I have barely anything left in me. I have just enough to tell you this on the video and that's it. And after I was um, done, I got these. I wonder if you can see it. Uh, let's see if you can see. Oh, I look rough. Hold on, okay. 
So I don't know if you can tell, but do you see this rash that broke out everywhere? I don't know why. I think it's from pushing so hard. And like, I think that I broke a couple blood vessels also. So just from pushing and stuff. So that's a thing. That's great. So, so now I just want to say thank you for all of the support. Like a lot of you gave up your evenings to spend with me. And I'm sure that a lot of you had to be up early today for work and school, but you were there for me and backed me up. <laughs> and you really, really helped me. So thank you. You guys were the best distraction I could ask for. Um, I'm really grateful for you guys and I am exhausted. I am starving. Um, I have not eaten since yesterday because it says you're not supposed to eat solid foods with it. So I just have not been eating um, because I, I, was, I didn't know what it would do with the liquid that was still in there. So, but luckily I kept all of the liquid down, surprisingly. I thought for sure I would puke half of it back up because it made me ugh, even thinking about it, ugh. Um, yeah, so anyway, I'm glad it's over and if we can all just take this lesson of how awful gastroparesis can be and some of you with gastroparesis have it naturally and some of you are like me where you have it because of your eating disorder and if you are like me or if you don't even have it but you do have an eating disorder let this be one of many other warnings that i've been trying to give people of what can happen to you you can develop gastroparesis where your body will stop digesting on its own or it'll be very difficult anyway and then you run into problems like this and i can tell you firsthand and and all of the hands that it is 110 million billion trillion percent pure hell. And if I had known that this would have come from just that very first time that I binged and purged, had I known that that would turn into this full-blown addiction that would affect me for the rest of my life, destroy my body, make it so that I can't have kids, 99% most likely, destroy my organs, destroy my health, and cause me to not even be able to poop by myself anymore. Something so simple that most of you probably don't even think about doing, I can't do on my own anymore. So if anything to come out of this, let that be another you know, another reason for you to feel motivated to stop if you've just started or to try and stop if you're even if you're deep in it and just start getting help now. I definitely need to be healthier. Uh, I think that would help. I know that would help. So yeah, stick with me. Uh, this journey has been up and down and up and down and this is one of the downs. This is one of the hard parts but I'm so glad that it's over and I, I pray that that never happens again because it was awful um oh my gosh it was so bad so anyway thanks for being here for me I love you guys and I will see you tomorrow I'm gonna go eat finally and go to bed and I love you and thank you for the bottom of my heart for supporting me and for those of you that are so kind and uplifting all the time and um, for those that aren't, I hope your day gets better. I hope your life gets better. Um, but please stop attacking my other shanty fannies. They don't deserve it. You can attack me if you want, but please stop attacking them because they don't deserve it. I don't deserve it either, but my little mama bear instinct kicks in and I'm like, don't you attack my children. <laughs> so anyway, I hope you have a lovely day, all of you, no matter who you are. And I'll see you tomorrow. And remember forever and always that you are beautiful, you are worth it, and I am exhausted. Oh, and I am too. Okay. Thank you for watching. Bye. I don't feel like doing it pretty. I love you. Bye. <laughs>